has his Druid and has his... Oh, getting right up into the next game, we have Druid and Warrior again. Now, this is a favored match for Crane. Crane should be in, in a very good spot here to be able to uh, kind of deal with Druid, get some traction back, and, and move forward. Shoop, of course, just needing one win, getting an Innervate in his opening hand, throwing back everything else. Which uh, means a Shade's coming. Yes, Shade has to come. So, uh, but yeah, we will we'll see. The Mulligan's going away. Keeps the Acolyte, throws away everything else for Crane. All right, not bad. Goes ahead and gets... He goes ahead and gets uh, the drawing power that he's looking for. Gets a, a Battle Rage, which of course can be used later. Gets Has now two Gnomish Inventors. The Accolade of Bane and uh, yeah, just ways for, for Crane to just continue to draw, start getting into his threats. So I think uh, next turn we're going to see uh, Innervated Druid of the Claw or Innervated Belcher. Yeah, it's... Hmm. It was rough because you almost may have wanted to get into the shredder. The, the shredder right away. But then you don't have a good curve. Because yes. this turn you would do nothing if you did a shredder last turn. Whereas now if you innervate out either a Belcher or a Druid of the Claw, then next turn you can also run another shredder. And then the following turn you can finish out the curve with the other, the other five, five drop. Three. And then... Uh, the turn after you have still have shredder and hero power so you're right you have a perfect curve through turn six with uh with this play very very good good heads up uh thoughts right there let's uh, pull up the full deck list so we can i i right here if i were him i would drop down the belcher just just so that you have more damage on board later and you, I, I can understand him doing this but it's there's going to come a point where you're going to need combo, so I would keep the possibility of a charge minion in your hand. He's able to draw four cards this turn. One off of the Whirlwind, another two off of Battle Rage, and then if he runs uh, Accolade into... Yep, four cards. Crane just filled up his hand. Uh, he has a Death Spite and two free Dread Corsairs for next turn. He'll be able to take out the Taunt that's sitting there. And still has two Taunts of his own. See, is he going to play both of them? Yes, he is. And that will be right. answered with probably be a wrap. And let's see what he gets. He gets a swipe. So I still don't know if you swipe. I, I, still, I would not. I wouldn't swipe. Still feel you go with the 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 Belcher. See what pops out of the course first. All right. I. I would have either Wrath or Swiped. I wouldn't have played that. All right. So, Frothing Berserker able to come down here and start to build a big one. And there is no Keeper in the hand for for the Druid. For the Druid right now. That's that's correct. So, there we go. Uh, so, uh, taking that out. And, again, it's scary because you never know what's going to come out of the Shredder. It's a captain's parrot, so which falls perfectly to it, absolutely perfect. Uh, and that falcon berserker just keeps getting bigger. Yes. Now the unfortunate thing is there is big uh, game rabbit hunter. or swipe. Big game hunter would. Uh, no. Not big game hunter. Wrath should be just fine here. Able to uh, wrath the eight three frothing berserker and uh, leave the armor smith up for right now. It should be okay. Chief trying to make his decision whether or not swipe is better, and he goes with swipe. Because uh, he wants to go a little bit more towards mana efficiency. He's not going to be able to play either Lotheb or any of the other five drops with, excuse me, uh, Wrath as it is. But he can Wrath and play one of the five drops next turn. So. And also because the further in the game you go, the less effective swipe you can use. Very true. Let me get swipe out before there's Patron and... You're buffing them and frothing berserkers. So <clears throat> now, there we go. Good. And again, very smart. Getting the wrath off now so that the whirlwind effect does not happen with the grim patron out there. And getting the vulture down afterwards. Uh, again, a, a lot of armor has been. Oh wow! Three cards off of battle rage. That one of them is going to be worse. All I'm going to have to do. No. Oh, the other unstable. Uh, let's see. We are 
Only 11 cards in his deck on turn seven. That's crazy. So, uh, again, he can draw again with the Gnomish Inventor if he'd like. So he plays the Unstable Ghoul, and he keeps everything. So armor up. Or does he equip the axe? All right. Execute. All right, and then he's able to get through, get through the uh, the slime right here, and put a couple of damage onto the face of the druid. Druid running very low on cards, and Crane down to just eleven in his deck. Oh, not not a great draw for for Shoot. Not what he wants to see. But the Lotheb will at least somewhat quell what uh, what Crane is going to be able to do. However. This is going to be a nasty next turn. If a Warsong Commander is drawn... Oh my, that's game. I don't know if I would go, go say game just yet, but he's able to Warsong into Grim Patron, getting a couple of Grim Patrons, and able to take them uh, to the face because he has a Fiery War Axe to finish off Lothed, and unfortunately has no Whirlwind or... Can't use the Taskmaster and not enough mana. So, um, Shoop is kind of in a world of trouble. He does have ways to kind of deal with what technically is on board right now. Oh, wow. What a draw. He's able to take out both of the Grim Patrons. Unfortunately, the Warsong Commander will still be there, but both Grim Patrons will be taken care of. Yes, but in, in his hand right now, you're waiting for a... Grom and a Taskmaster to drop, and he can just execute down that Druid of the Claw, so he still has... Oh, and... That's... So beautiful. Yeah, he's gonna and why would you not? That, yeah. Because you have the Grom and the Whirlwind turn next turn, so yeah, get rid of that. And you can go ahead and execute the uh, Zombie Child if you'd like, just to... I, I wouldn't. All right. I, I wouldn't just because he could have sent him off the leaf. We have two, four, six, eight. Yeah, eight, fourteen. Yeah, he would have sent him off for lethal next turn. It's okay. He he realizes Sheep has very little cards. Oh, but at this point, do you you ha kind of have to draw? You have no cards left, but yeah. you're also scared from the. Uh, oh wow! You just get cycle after cycle. Both wild growths here so late in the game, and uh, is able to cycle get. A keeper off of one, and all right. So I Thor some. Well, you can accolade of pain first and charge it in. So you can accolade of pain, whirlwind, and then charge it in. Draw much more of your deck, and then Thor some. But why? But you can't execute if you do it that way. Um. Goes with Grom. I mean, he could Grom whirlwind execute. That's that's a perfectly fine play right there, taking everything to the face of the druid and shoot. Or excuse me, Crane looks to be setting himself up to take here game number three after being down two uh, two nothing early. So shoot is down to two health and, and he draws a swipe, which will actually keep him alive. Swipe and Belcher come down. Yep, that, that is going to keep him alive for the time being. And Grim Patron. Hmm. Emperor Thorson to make everything cheaper. Going ahead. To... And by everything, you mean Grim Patron. Yes. <laughs> uh, and he does take out the first half of the Sludge Belcher. Uh, now, Grom will be able to be taken out, but uh, unfortunately, Keeper. Um, I just really don't want to limit the card draw anymore. There's almost nothing left for, for the Warrior. So I, I guess at this point you almost want him to draw. No, there's still six cards left. I guess you could limit the card draw and silence the Acolyte. And he gets a Rag. Now Rag... Rag could, could keep him alive. Rag is a 50-50 chance to keep him alive. Rag is the only thing right now that can keep him alive. So the slime into Grom... And then rag on a 33% coin flip, not even a coin flip, 33% uh, toss, basically. A three-sided dice flip. There you go. Three-sided die flip. A pyramid flip. A pyramid <laughs> flip, if you will. Uh, if it takes out the Emperor Thoris and Shoop gets to live. And that's what he's going to do. Slam it down. 
and turn. What is Rag gonna hit? It's gonna hit. It's Golden Rag. It's gonna hit what it wants. Oh! A card draw either way. Uh, he would have lost. Either way, uh, Crane would have taken that game. Congratulations to Kane. Crane. Crane, thank you. Taking, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, catching up with a 1-2 to two lead still for Shoot. Crane still has the Warlock and the Druid left. 